What's up, YouTube? Keith Buds. Hey, um, we're gonna dig into this a little bit. So, my problem with uh, that machete and the shape of the sheath is the praying shape. Now, I was trying to attach stuff to it, and I realized I couldn't really put as much on because of the shape. And a little bit wider and square would work a little bit better for me personally. Because, you know, square you can fit more on. So, I'm going to take everything off of here and go through it individually. But, yeah, I was going to take some duct tape. And I had it actually attached before. And I just put a loop here, loop here. You know, just a couple passes, hold it in place. But, yeah, I'm going to take everything off here. and Except for the Ranger Bands and show you what's up. Alright, so here we have everything taken off. I'm going to start with other things that you can put on there that aren't. Um... Uh, this guy, uh, Creative Redundancy. Dude, your videos are really cool. And I noticed I do the same thing that you do with all kinds of tins. Yours are all the same. I like having a nice big variety. Um, one of these clipper lighters just happens to fit in this little Mentos tin with a lid. And it doesn't make noise. Um, I don't know what the hell you could put in here. You could put maybe a couple hot salamis into this one. You can attach that anywhere you want. Uh, this little Altoids. I'm thinking you can put a bunch of little 22s in there. You know. All kinds of stuff. Oh, anyways. <clears throat> Back to what I'm steadily keeping on here. Um, once again, Creative Redundancy. Thank you for the uh, ideas on putting stuff in tens. Uh, Survival for the Poor. Thank you for the idea of the alcohol this is this is a bottle of fireball this, this is nothing that's that's just for me that's just for fun times um i've got a couple reviews coming on stuff that i've had for a long time just to give them a constant test in all four seasons um such as uh this glow stick and this flashlight and this little forever match um all right, first things first. Tool number one, got the machete. Um, like I said, this will be attached. Um, on the back, I have, well, I got nine Ranger Bands, and you notice one is really, really thick, and I'll show you why. Um, there's about 30 feet of little cheapo polycord on there. I don't need that much. I figure that's just for extra backup. So that's... Uh, tool number two. These all removable. You guys know how that works. Um, inside this tin, I a space blanket. Because why not? Uh, in here, this is a fire kit. This has got uh, a couple hot salamis, fire disc, a box of matches that I overstuffed. With more matches. They're not waterproof or anything. That's just on there for now. Bottle of Fireball. Um, this knife you guys have seen a bunch of times. I just picked this up the other day. And like I said, I'm really surprised no one ever said anything about me not having a compass. Um, frankly, I'm ashamed. You know. I was a Boy Scout for many years. Um, but moving seven, eight, nine times, you lose stuff. So, this one's pretty cool. It's got a whistle, compass, a thermometer. Uh, this is a UV glow stick. Now, I have a couple of these products. I have a, uh, I have two pack lights. I have a glow stick. And I have a sheet of this super glow stuff. It's, it's incredible. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do a review just on these and my other uh, glow stuff and I'm also going to do a flashlight review I've had this flashlight for 
going on two years now. This is a high beam. Um, I got it off Survival Life. Something just popped up. Excuse me. <laughs> popped up into Facebook. You guys have seen this before. I actually went online the other day and ordered two more of these. They're on sale for $0.98. Cents, so once again, clearance. Um, so I'll show you what this does real quick. Now I got an LED light above me. So you guys know how bright LED is. Check this out. Just that little bit of light here. We'll go in the shadow. Yeah, it's crazy bright. I have I have a large pack light. I have a medium pack light. I uh, got that sticky sheet, and I got one of these. These things are invaluable. It's awesome. It's a glow stick you never have to recharge or never have to crack, break, buy a new one ever again. It's awesome. So, um, yeah. This the everything I have is quite modular. I can take it out of one thing, put it into another, take take this out and why the hell not have another lighter in there? Plus you have a little tin and you know, maybe maybe one day I don't feel like carrying uh the fireball. Let's say I drink it. Well I can uh put some tinder in there if need be. Um, couple 22, I mean, it, it's anything that you can fit on here, on here, on the back side, you're limited by how much weight you want to put on it, but from what I can tell, when this is attached to here, um, all these inner tube, these ranger bands, they really, really squeeze on here, and even without it being taped on there, it's still... It's a chore to get it in and out, and that's with everything off of it. I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't weigh anything, because it's... Yeah, everything's lightweight, though, you know? So, like I said, thank you guys for your ideas. Survival for the Poor, Creative Redundancy, uh, the UV, the pack light products. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a full review on these, this, um, but yeah, if I gave you guys some ideas, that's awesome, but, um, I'm thinking, uh, calling this the modular machete, because you can take everything on and off, but definitely the items that stay on there, in my opinion, I'm not really taking them off of there, I mean, I may switch out a knife here and there, or I may... No, the, the fire kit, here, we'll just go with what stays on there. Fire. Knife. Cordage. Machete. Probably the flashlight. Those things really will never leave it. And, you know, probably the compass should never leave it either. But, it, it's unlimited. You're, you're only limited by how much space... How much material, how much weight that you want to actually put on here. Like I said, I'm not going to say it's feather light because it's not. But for what it is and the amount of gear that's on there, I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to be making a bunch more videos soon. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Have a good one, everyone.